मुखड़ा लुका के रख ल Um, well, I think I've been successful because I've been able to make links between topics um, and relate them together, which actually helps me remember information and content. Um, so yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's why. Well, I'm successful because I take pride into my learning. Well, the fact that I'm a joker. The fact that I'm a joker. <laughs> and that I put hard work when I need to. Uh, what makes me successful is that I'm very organised and I give myself enough time to do whatever is needed of me. I'm good learning, doing the homework on time, and studying. You need to um, focus. Yeah, pay attention in class, do extra revision at home. Take care for your learning. Uh, well, I think I revise a lot of time, and I, I believe in myself. I have good motivation. My mom just left me, and yeah. So. Uh, study club really helps. Um, <laughs> helps spending one extra day of school every week after school. It's amazing because I get all my homework done and I'm really productive during those hours. That is so cool, man. I think um, listening to teachers is probably one of the biggest things that you could do to be a successful student. Um, you know, that's one of the major keys. The, the teachers know what they're doing, you know? When they see you walking in their classroom, they're probably like, you smart, you loyal, you special. But instead, you're watching videos like this. Meow! <laughs> Don't do that. Watch educational videos, listen to your teachers, and then actually do work. Because that's probably the best thing you can do. I think maybe we can manage my time a bit more and give some, give some time to myself and my family as well. That'd be great. That's something I can improve on. I think I should try to get more... Um, time to revise more to be to be an even more successful learner. I think I could concentrate more or write more notes down in class to try and help me with my home studies and not to pressure yourself too much or too stress yourself. Um, these students have asked me how I can improve, and I said, you know, is it, can you really improve on perfection? Is that possible? <laughs> Gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal. But more realistically and more honestly, uh, how we can all improve. I always think with students, homework is a big issue. And the key thing is that I always say is as soon as you get it, do it. If you're always on top of that work as a student, then you don't have all that pressure and all that burden on your shoulders. And I think that really helps. Um, and actually that's a, a good rule for, for myself and for other people. It's not always possible, but trying to do things in a timely, efficient fashion I just think means that you're in control of your work rather than your work being in control of you. And that's the ideal thing. I expect that the school helps us and guides us, which is what they already, which is what they already do. There is that support network, and I think that it's good to utilise that support network. Yeah, doing a lot more mock exams and uh, doing things in time conditions. Well, um, I think we should have more after school activities because now that after school, I have stuff to do, so more study books. Okay, so that's raising achievement day in a nutshell. The things that make you a good student would be doing your homework on time and perhaps not procrastinating. Uh, there's obviously the expectations from the school, there's expectations from you, there's expectations from your friends and family which you obviously want to succeed. So the point of Raising Achievement Day, as you should know, is so that we can look back on what we've done and see how we can do things better than we did last year. So here's to another year.